Prime Minister Narendra Modi's visit to five Central Asian countries and Russia has further strengthened the existing strong ties with these nations while opening up new avenues of cooperation. Prime Minister Modi's visit to Uzbekistan, Kazakhstan, Russia, Turkmenistan, Kyrgyzstan and Tajikistan has further deepened the bond India shares with these nations. On the first leg of his visit, Prime Minister was in Tashkent, the capital of Uzbekistan on July 6. As the first stop of Prime Minister's visit, Uzbekistan reflected the importance New Delhi gives to Tashkent, not just in the context of the region, but also more broadly in Asia. The two nations have built a strategic partnership on the foundation of mutual respect and shared interests over the years. The two nations signed three key agreements for cooperation in the field of tourism, foreign affairs and culture. In Kazakhstan, the next destination of Prime Minister's visit, the two nations shared perspectives on many international issues, including regional peace, connectivity and integration, reforms in the United Nations and combating terrorism. Kazakhstan is India's biggest economic partner in the region. PM Modi said that India and Kazakhstan will work together to take economic ties to a new level. New Delhi and Astana signed four pacts, agreement on transfer of sentenced persons, agreement on defense and military for technical cooperation between the two nations, memorandum of understanding on cooperation on culture and sports, memorandum of understanding for technical cooperation in the field of railways. Prime Minister's next stop was Ufa in Russia, where he held several key bilateral meetings and attended the BRICS and SCO summits. Prime Minister Modi held bilateral meeting with Russian President Vladimir Putin. The two leaders resolved to take strategic bilateral ties forward and discuss India's accession to the SCO. Prime Minister's another key bilateral was with Chinese President Xi Jinping. PM Modi strongly and clearly conveyed India's concerns to the Chinese leader over Beijing, blocking a proposal for action by the UN against Pakistan on the release of jailed Mumbai attack mastermind Zaki Ur Rahman Lakhvi. At the BRICS summit, the Prime Minister proposed a 10 point initiative that included India hosting the first trade fair for the grouping and establishing research centers for railways and agriculture, calling it Das Kadam 10 Steps for the Future. The Prime Minister proposed BRICS Trade Fair, BRICS Railway Research Center, cooperation among supreme audit institutions, BRICS Digital Initiative, BRICS Agricultural Research Center, BRICS State Local Governments Forum, cooperation among cities in the field of urbanization, BRICS Sports Council and annual BRICS Sports Meet, first major project of NDB to be in the field of clean energy, BRICS Film Festival. One of the most talked about highlights of Prime Minister's visit was a bilateral meeting with Pakistani Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif. India and Pakistan decided to revive the stalled dialogue process and quicken the Mumbai attack case trial in talks. The meeting took place on the sidelines of the Shanghai Cooperation Organization Summit. The Shanghai Cooperation Organization Summit marked a historic development for India with the grouping including India as a member. India has had a 10-year observer status in the Beijing-based grouping with China, Russia, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Uzbekistan and Tajikistan as members. Prime Minister offered to work with SCO to enhance connectivity, combat terror and create an environment for boosting trade by easing barriers. In Turkmenistan, Prime Minister batted for the early implementation of 10 billion US dollar TAPI gas pipeline project during comprehensive talks between PM Modi and Turkmenistan President Garbonguli Berdi Mukhamedev. Both sides decided to intensify efforts in dealing with threats of terrorism, organized crime and illegal drug trafficking. A total of seven pacts were signed, including an agreement on cooperation in the field of defense and another on tourism. The Prime Minister said that the possibility of land-sea route through Iran for the pipeline should be explored. The Prime Minister, during his meetings with the top leadership of Kyrgyzstan, voiced grave concern over rising trend of extremism and terrorism worldwide. The two leaders signed four agreements, including one to boost defense cooperation and hold anvil joint military exercises. The two countries also agreed to expeditiously consider signing an agreement on combating international terrorism and other crimes. Two MOUs were also signed for cooperation between the election commissions of the two countries and on cooperation in the sphere of standards, a move that will help economic relations. Tajikistan, the final leg of the visit, saw Prime Minister calling for agricultural cooperation between the two countries. Both the countries agreed to intensify cooperation in combating terror. During his visit to these countries, Prime Minister pitched for boosting connectivity among the countries and enhancing trade by eliminating barriers. Concluding his tour, the Prime Minister said, Strong ties between India and Central Asia are important for the future that we seek for our countries and our region. In a tweet, the Prime Minister said that he is convinced that India and Central Asia must reconnect on a larger scale. With inputs from Gautam Roy, Rahul Gupta, Prakash Pant, Siddhant Sibyl, Sudhir Yadav, 
ब्यूरो रिपोर्ट डी डी न्यूज़